Are you tired of being a meta slave and not having fun in video games? Of course you are. We've got just a thing to help you cope. Yeah, the Dr. Ho. That's right, a children's toy. It's the answer to all of your problems. Point the loud end of the toy towards an enemy and pull the trigger. A successful elimination with the Doctor's debuff gives the team or raid 10% armor. Combined with the hostile negotiations, there will be plenty of healing. Not bad for a toy gun. Pay attention to the highlighted area in the bottom right corner. Thank you. The negotiators will deal indirect damage to marked enemies. It has a stagger mechanic that will knock enemies out of cover or just plain make them forget how to stand and almost face plant. Looks like a bad case of death, the permanent kind. In there, somewhere, in the midst of the smoke, fire and all the other shit, there is a war dog. Tag it with your negotiator and move on to the next target. And now you will proceed to shoot the doggos and the leggos. Your critical hits will go straight into their health pool, which is simultaneously transferred to the other dog's health pool. Very good. Great success. When you meet Big Mad and the gang, try not to shoot them in the head because the negotiator will always do damage to center mass. I repeat, will always do damage to center mass. You're better off landing body shots. Oh no! The hacked device is indestructible! You guessed it! Tag it with the negotiator's dilemma and start blasting! And you're done! All in a day's work! Another day, another dollar, am I right or am I right? For the first time in my life I'm going to use my YouTube celebrity superstar status to give a shout out to Dispatch. He's kind of a fart smeller, I mean smart feller. Link in the description, maybe even in the comments, why not? Go give him some thumbs up and super positive algorithm comments. And this is the build, link in the description. In case you paid the least bit of attention, the gear set is indeed a negotiator's dilemma. Four piece of holster, gloves, mask and backpack. The backpack increases the transfer damage by 40%, making it a 100% total damage. A pristine example chest piece from Airaldi Holdings with a talent of perfect focus. Focus talent finally works with the doctor's scope and that's noise. Fox sprayer knee pads from Overlord Armaments, meant for rifles. Maxed out at 60% crit with 130% crit damaged, unbuffed. Viable specializations is sharpshooter, gives you 15 headshot damage and some stability, but gunner gives you faster reloads, armor on kill, teeny bit of rate of fire, and most importantly, gives you more ammo so you can keep spam firing ever so harder to get irreversible damage to your wrist tendons. Feels good. So standing still gives you 0.2 second faster reloads and every third reload is 50% faster. At the best, the sustained average reload is 1.7 seconds. Nice. Nice indeed. Within the blue highlighted area, you can see that we have calculations. With no negotiator buff, is the one above, we have a burst DPS of 10 million. And with our backpack talent, we can bump it up to 23 million. On the lower one, you can see we have a burst DPS of 11 million and we can bump it up with the backpack talent to 25 million. Now then, there are two ways to cheese the chest talent focus. One is to aim down sights once per second and the talent keeps running. The second is to reload to keep the talent running. And this method lets you move faster or can be used when relocating with cover-to-cover -cover movement. Now if you look closely, there is plenty of cover here available. Plenty of cover. Which one is better? This one or that one? That's right, it was a trick question. Don't answer it. They're both equally bad. This is genuinely the kind of a cover that you would always want to use. This is like a 2x2 two two kind of a box. It covers your whole fucking agent and there is no way in hell that nobody's going to shoot you unless you expose yourself from either one of these sides. Now if you're using a shield, you would preferably always use a right hand side of an angle because you can't obviously change your shoulder when you're holding a shield. Now there's not much to master in this weapon. It's very easy to use. However, you should learn how fast you can shoot it at what range. 
no matter how much of an aim god you are, you cannot escape the fact that the bullets will spread randomly the faster you shoot this gun. Oh great, the game! I could have sweared that the game just crashed right then. Maybe not. There would still be three minutes until I get that ad revenue, but you know what? I'm finished and it can't be done. We're basically socially retarded. And I'm not good at talking nonsense. Wait. But if everything I say is complete nonsense, that's a lie. Wow, self-awareness moment. Well, then that just makes me lazy. Yeah, we'll go with that. Thank you for watching, leave a like with a super positive algorithm comment or a dislike with some really nice hate mail within the YouTube guidelines. I mean, we don't want your YouTube to blacklist your comment. You would need to be very professional with your wordy words. Make them into nice sentences.